Hi guys, today I want to talk to you about how to find the power from a wind turbine. So how to find the power from the wind turbine? Well, we need to use this equation, power is work done over time. But basically the work done is equal to the kinetic energy of the wind uh, hitting the blades. So we're going to go back to the old equation, half mv squared, but most of the time in the problems they won't give you uh, the mass. So what you need to do is a little bit of a trick where we're going to find the mass of the air going past uh, by basically uh, finding the, the the mass by timesing the density by the volume. Okay, so what I mean by the volume, well, I want you to imagine every second going past our wind turbine is basically like a, a cylinder of air. Okay, so we've got our area, our cross-sectional area, and also this length here, well, the length will be equal to the wind velocity times the time. And, well, an easy way to do this is just make time equal one second. So that will tell us uh, every second how much uh, 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 how much air is hitting or, uh, or going past our wind turbine. So if we know this volume, the volume times by the density of air will give us the mass. And then we can put it into half mv squared. So basically we just find that the power is equal to a half times the cross-sectional area, times by the density, times the velocity of the wind cubed. And then here's Pino to tell you a little message. Goodbye, and don't forget to comment and subscribe. Bye for now.